Dallas Fort Worth has become one of the top destinations for relocation in the entire world. Now, everything is bigger in Texas, including the billionaires, the land, and well, sometimes the people. Here are the five things that you must know before moving to Dallas Fort Worth in 2023. Now, as I said, everything in Texas is bigger. Dallas is a big, big, big place, and the options that you come into can be overwhelming and can lead to a lot of additional stress when trying to relocate from somewhere else around the country. At the end of the day, when you're looking for relocation options, there are just too many good places to look. Uh, it's just a lot of space. That's a lot of stuff. You could literally drive for 60, 70 miles in the DFW area, and you're going to continue just to see development after development after development after development after development. After development. And it just keeps going and going and going. So what do you do? Well, without further delay, I'm gonna tell you the five things you must know about relocating to Dallas-Fort Worth in 2023. Number one, there are no mountains in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And this can be a little confusing to people, especially if you've come from rocky regions of the United States. I, for one, grew up in Southern California uh, and then also lived for 20 years in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, if you've ever been to California or Las Vegas, Nevada, you realize that they are surrounded by mountains and mountains are pretty much everywhere. So you can pretty much set your degrees or time by them you can set your distance and destination once you essentially get used to being there when i first came out to dallas fort worth the idea that no mountains were there didn't seem that big of a deal uh, i'm not a big mountain climber uh, or rock climber or anything like that but i will say when i got out here not having mountains around was a little unsettling just seemed strange uh, not used to it and i know many people that have come out here that have felt the same way but i will say this if you are one of those people where the mountains bother you it won't after about three weeks, you just get used to it. So it's no big deal. Number two, location matters. Dallas-Fort Worth, the Metroplex, as people call it here, is home to the largest number of billionaires in the entire world. There is over 23 and counting coming in. So the location you pick, depending on the luxury neighborhoods you are looking for, can matter greatly depending upon what type of lifestyle you want to live. The locations you select can range from Midtown and Dallas to kind of old school in Fort Worth, which is a more conservative area where Dallas is really more uptown and flashy. There is more of a drive towards independence in Fort Worth and more of a drive towards status in Dallas. And the suburbs that you select can also reflect that. You can go to larger luxury country areas like Argyle or West Flower Mound or Bartonville, which are fantastic, beautiful open areas where you can get large spaces. You can go to up and coming, very successful, wealthy cities like Prosper and Salina. Not Salina, it's Salina and Anna and Melissa. I don't know why they keep naming all these cities in Texas after females, but they do. So I'll find that out one day for you, I promise. If you're looking for more bedroom communities with larger lots, but not a country feel, Southlake, Colleyville, Keller, Trophy Club, these are all wonderful places to be. And of course, if you like downtown areas, you have downtown Dallas, you have University Park, you have Preston Hollow, you have Highland Park, you have very high-end areas of the Fort Worth area. So there are many, many options depending on the lifestyle you live. That is why it's important to take a look around and get with a professional early to help determine what type of lifestyle you like. Otherwise, you could get kind of caught up in all that Texas has to offer you. Number three, Dallas has very different cultures depending on the cities you go into. So as I mentioned before that each city and area has their own different feel, but the cultures are also different. If you're looking for more of a family environment with a good school district, you're going to look more towards the suburbs, which is pretty typical in most big cities. However, if you're looking for a big city environment, the cities are going to matter quite a bit. You could go to places like Frisco, which is the fastest growing large city in the United States and has been since 2005. That is where the Dallas Cowboys have their training center. You have the five billion dollar mile. You have a new Universal Studios park going in and it continues to grow and grow and grow. You could go to a more conservative western city like Fort Worth or you could go to a flashy new age city like Dallas. So there is lots of lots of options out here. It really just depends on what you're looking for. Number four, there is opportunity everywhere in Dallas Fort Worth. As I said before, the DFW area is one of the best investment options for real estate in the entire country. CB Richard Ellis just came out with their economic study for 2023 and named the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and North Texas in general, the best investment opportunity for commercial real estate in the entire country. We will be doing 
doing some more videos exploring some of the tremendous value in the DFW area from the residential side and the commercial side as our channel continues to grow. But it's safe to say, I think the numbers I'm going to show you are going to be really exciting and you're going to enjoy the content. DFW is quickly becoming a global financial center and tech hub. You have headquarters of Charles Schwab and you have the headquarters of Fidelity with over 7,000 employees. You have Deloitte University. You have tremendous amounts of growth everywhere with the DFW airport, all four major sports and just a wonderful value and way of life all over the Metroplex. It is no wonder why so many people want to call Dallas, Texas home these days. So if you're looking for more information on that, do me a favor, click the like button, make sure you subscribe, click the link below, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have about a discovery meeting about what it's like to live in Fort Worth, Texas. But before we get to that, of course, let's move on to number five, property taxes. If there is a downside to the DFW Metroplex, it is property taxes. Now keep in mind that the actual city or county property taxes will vary. There are a lot of counties in the Fort Worth, Dallas Metroplex. Uh, just just within about a 20 square mile radius here, you have Tarrant County, Dallas County, Collin County, and the list continues to go on uh, the farther you go out. Now, each county has a school district and those school district taxes will add on to the property tax value. So Texas has no state income tax, which is nice, but the property tax rates will run anywhere from about 1.76% per year all the way up to about 2.75% per year. And as property values have grown, this has been something that has, well, bothered homeowners, let's say, and business owners. However, there has been interesting news coming out of the Austin area lately with the governor taking on a serious bid to reform property tax as valuations of properties have gone up. Now, me, in my opinion, I think the higher property tax rates have actually been an insulator against negative down markets in real estate, but I do believe there should be some sort of stepping stone or a cost breakdown or cut the higher in value property goes. And it's looking like the government is tending to agree with people who believe the way I do. So we will see and we will keep you abridged to those developments as things move forward. So once again, I would like to thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day. Make sure if you want to talk to me or book a call with me, you schedule below. You can book a discovery call with me. It is no obligation. I would love to get to know you and love to help you on your journey to becoming a native Texan like me. Well, maybe not a native Texan, but a Texan for the rest of my life, God willing. Stay safe out there and I will talk to you soon. Thanks again. Bye.